Hello my friends and subscribers, my name is Alexander Stepanov and this is the hardest story that changed people's life and everyone should listen to this story. My life has changed after I met this woman. So let's start from the beginning. One day I was walking down the street with my friend. We were young. And we met 20 years old homeless man. He was a little bit drunk and he asked us for some money. I wasn't expecting that my friend acted that way. He started screaming at him. Hey you, go work, you're so young. Instead of asking money, go and earn them. And you know guys, that time his words sounded right, but I didn't expect that I could change my views on all these problems in my later life, because we don't know what may happen with us 10 minutes ahead. And some people used to say bad things about poor people, but they don't know that they can be in the same situation in future. And now you see me doing nails for this client. This video is divided on four times of year. It was spring and she was happiest person. She had good work. She was beautiful. She didn't smoke and didn't drink alcohol that time. She wanted adventure because she has read a lot of novels and she was looking for extraordinary man. She graduated from university and she tired of lazy, boring boys. She just needed a real man who smelled powder before, who could give her hot relationships. But springtime passed and she couldn't meet anybody. And she used to sit outside on the balcony till like four in the morning and look down on the garden from her fourth floor. But one day, she saw something questionable. The body of the strange man was lying on the ground. She came outdoor from her flat to see what was going wrong. He was a leaf. He was just drunk. At first, she decided to come back to her flat. But you know, guys, in Russia, there are cold nights. And people can be frozen and they spend the whole night lying on the ground. So she decided to save his life and she dragged him to her flat. It was a distinct smell of alcohol mixed with something awful. It seemed that he was homeless. She dragged him through the street door and she thought about leaving him there because she didn't want to bring him to her flat. Maybe she thought that he might be a thief and it could be dangerous to contact with him. So she left him in the street door and came home. In the morning she went to work and she met that man. He was sitting on the stairs. He was about 25 years old, handsome guy. But he was dirty, his clothes were terrible, and it seemed that he lived on the streets. She said, get out here. But he looked at her with pleading eyes, and he said, I need some water. She said, you could be better to stop drinking. She took out mineral water from her handbag and gave him. He was smiling and drinking water, and he also tried to seduce her. It seemed that in his past life he was popular between girls, because his insolent look was the same. But she didn't react and she came to work. And in the evening, when she came home, he was still sitting by the door of her flat. You don't have to sit here. You moron! He said, I have nowhere to go. What's wrong with you? 
and he started telling her the stupid story. You know, something like when young boys take lots of showers or tell such big stories. And you know guys, she even believed him. She invited him into her flat and she brought him some soap. It sounds unbelievable. They started talking as friends. And she started looking at him not like on poor homeless person. She saw in him a good guy who got in the trouble. She just wanted to help him. And also that meeting was very intriguing for her. And also he spoke like adult person. He had the serious experiment in his life and she felt that he wasn't similar like all the rest of her friends. Those people could only thought about video games. They spent all their times in social networks and they started get together rarely. So that poor guy seemed to her so natural, mainly man. And she just decided to wash him. She suggested him to take a shower. And she found some t-shirts and trousers of her big brother. He was very modest. And he was sadly said, thank you, thank you my dear. You are so kind. And it seemed that the miracle happened. Especially when he came out from the shower and he was just so happy. He had new clothes. His face was shining with the light. And she was looking at him and she didn't believe that he was absolutely other person 10 minutes before. That was great transformation. And that always was the happiest spring in her life. Because that night she didn't left her flat. Maybe because he had nowhere to go. Or maybe because she wanted him to stay. And the summer began. You guys, have you ever asked yourself, are you capable of such thing to take home homeless person? She did, but she was serious girl. She didn't let him close. He slept in the other room and when she came out on her work, he made lunch and dinner for her. He cleaned her flat and made all houseworks. He was a great housewife and she appreciated that thing. She started to believe him. They walked together in the evening and they spent all the time on weekends. It was an unusual couple and she never told anybody about his past life because he looked like a serious man. He had no traces of alcohol experience on his face and nobody could thought that he had bad habits. And they seemed like happy couple. They understood each other. And after a month of living separately in different rooms, they started to to sleep in one bed. Of course, they went to the doctor to make the test on hive infection. Fortunately, he was healthy. And the doctor said that it was the rare case when the person had no even gastritis. <laughs> So he was totally healthy. You know guys, Luba, that was her name. She believed that 
he could change his life and they could together build the family because she started loving him he was very unusual person with his thoughts views on life he acted with her like a man and it seemed to her that he loved her too he didn't like to talk about his past life and when Lübe asked him to tell about his parents he was embraced and he told her to quiet of course I understand her and as every woman she wanted to meet with his parents and to know more about the life of her boyfriend but unfortunately he was like a closed book but she didn't thought about it they embraced the present the summer was romantic time they was traveling and she spent all her money on unforgettable trip to Thailand I think this is the most popular place among Russian and German people I used to say so because when I was in Thailand it seemed that tourists were speaking only Russian and German languages and of course there were a lot of German men than women I know this fact because when I was in airport with my wife the group of men from Germany asked me why do you take your wife with you to Pattaya? it's something like going visiting guests with your personal samovar samovar is the Russian national teapot and this phrase means that if you want to have a good time with somebody you shouldn't take your wife with you but I answered their question that we had the honeymoon with my wife and I'm not going to cheat on my wife if even I go there alone but guys let's come back to other couple to the story of Luba and strange homeless person who become her lover his name was Michael in Russian we say it as Mikhail I think these names Michael and Mikhail are different honestly I don't like the name Mikhail but if I happen to live in America for example I could call my son Michael because I was a great fan of Michael Jackson he was my hero especially when I was young hey maybe someone of you my friends let me know down in the comments who listened to his songs again and again to the halls I mean my cassette recorder was killed with replaying of his songs and so why do I tell you such things you know the matter is that Mikhail the Luba's boyfriend at the end of their trip he started act not like real man who spent his time with beautiful girlfriend I think that the spirit of passion got in his brain and he started to drink Thai whiskey and of course it caused a, a sense of passion but not only the passion to his girlfriend he was a little bit drunk and he started to flirt with Thai women and one day in the end of their trip Mikhail and Luba had a fight or something like that she went out to the city and left him alone she spent her time on the walking street till the morning and when she came back to the hotel she was in shock she saw him sleeping with two Thai girls 
So guys, can you imagine this fact? She made him. She paid for everything. But what the hell? But he was like a pig. But how could he do that? Maybe when he drowned, he couldn't control himself. And maybe he could think that that was Pattaya and that city allowed him to do everything he wanted. So that was the big scandal. She screamed on each other when they're going back home. But this is not the end of this story. Usually it's cold in Russia when it's fall. The cold time was also in relationship of Luba and Mikhail. They were not breaking up after that accident. They were still living together, but their relationship had changed. He was swearing all the time that he could never do it again. And he was kissing and hugging her all the time and ask her for forgiveness. She tried to believe him. But the first thing she wanted him to find the job because it wasn't normal when the man is sitting at home all the time in spite of things that he's making breakfast or anything else. Actually, the man should make career, make money for his family because when she stay at home with children who could support the family that time? So she needed to trust him as a man who could take care of her and his children. And of course, he listened to her and he found the job. He became the private security with all those things like rude behavior and bad habits and Luba didn't expect it, that that handsome man can be changed with his new profession because he founded new friends they were not always polite and they were not always good many of them had hard past life and she asked Mikhail many times to change that profession to change that job because that job influenced on him badly but he didn't listen to her because she found new friends who understood him there was a one idea in their brains that women are stupid they will never respect their thoughts and they never did anything for them. They could only came back drunk and beat their women. And that was awful. You know guys, the strong man should protect his woman and never beat her. If you are strong, you, it's better to show your power to somebody who are stronger than you. You know, my aunt works in women's shelter and heard millions of stories about such bad things and all those stories usually are connected with the alcohol because drunk people can't control themselves. But I couldn't imagine the end of that story when Luba started from time to time drink alcohol with her boyfriend. Sometimes she said that she helped him because she didn't want him to drown hard. Sometimes she had bad mood because of that situation. She didn't control that because she loved him. But 
he was changing day by day and she couldn't do with it anything. When friends knew about their problems, they turned their backs on her and that made her to drink again and again more and more frequently. And of course, we can all say that she's a stupid woman. But we can't imagine us in her situation. Because when you love some, someone, you are going crazy. Especially when this person is doing everything to drive you crazy. So, my friend Luba got in that situation. I didn't know her that time and I don't know if there any person who could help her that time because he was like a cancer he was destroying her day by day and please tell me why she gave him the bottle of water that day in the day when they met each other but the Mikhail was happy. He spent his time with other women and he didn't come back at nights. And Luba didn't expect it, that the winter was the hardest time of year. Let's come back to the beginning of this story. When my friend screamed on homeless person, so guys, you will not believe that after three months of drinking alcohol, each person can be the same. And that was happened with Luba. Her friend made her alcoholic. She was fired from her job. And they started drink together, spent all the money, Mikhail sold all things from her flat. I mean all expensive things like jewelry, some furniture. He bought vodka and they drink that vodka together. And in the middle of the winter, he started beating her. He just gone crazy. They drink and fight again and again, again and again, before she went into the coma. And that was the end of their story. With the honey beginning and with the hardest end. Four seasons, spring, summer, fall and winter, their relationship was getting colder. And when she was in hospital, she wanted only to stop that crazy things. When she came out from hospital, she put that man away in jail for 10 years. And she started the new life. And we can see, guys, traces of her past life only on her hands. She asked me to tell this story to the world. Because in spite of all bad things that happened in her life, she is staying happiest person. And she is always smiling, she is always kidding. And she looks to the future with a great optimism. And I have never met such an optimistic person. A lot of people around are complaining about their life. But when we meet such person, we understand that our life is like cloudless sky. And I think so. I think all of us can learn something from her. And in this amazing video, I have shown you four amazing transformation that I applied with your hands and it's like working on the mistakes so just let's together forget about 
our mistakes and problems, troubles. Because Luba could do that. And we all can change the world if we believe in our strength. And of course, if we love each other. And no matter who you are. I love you guys. See you in the next video.